Chet Ubecha is the number one Gibby player in the world with 148,000 kills. He's really good with Gibby. He's been playing him since day one and he just keeps getting better and better. His KD is like absolutely ridiculously high. Uh, so we're going to jump into some gameplay with him. He's got a bunch of content on YouTube and he streams as well. So you're going to want to check him out if you like Gibby gameplay. But with that being said, let's get into this and see how exactly the best Gibby player in the world plays Gibby. So Chet's like a super sort of cautious player he plays very smart he ensures that he never dies if he can help it and gets crazy numbers of kills so let's get into gameplay and see uh, what I'm we can learn from this dude let's go all right jumping on the master with gibby what more can you want that is nuts all right i got you mona they're playing together but uh they're not in party chat so you can't hear them i, I got believe. you zay Nice. I love their no energy ammo? from this dude. No problem. Love it. Love the vibes. Yo, yo, yo. What is he doing? Get down the dome. Go for the armor swap. Okay. Nice. You can see, like, uh, this player is very smart with angles, right? He's just, like, holding angles, taking the shots that are the most obvious to take, you know? It's not always about being, like, flashy and popping off all sorts of crazy movement. If you're out in the open, you're gonna die, right? And I feel like playing Gibby game, definitely song, teaches you a lot game. about that, right? Especially, he's a big boy, he's a big boy. You gotta play position, you gotta play the right angles, you gotta stay in cover as much as possible. It's probably the most, like, thing we could learn about this dude. Look at how patient he is. Yeah, Wraith, you like that? No, it works, man. It works. What works is is, is uh, not always the flashiest thing, right? Get straight to cover again. Easy. Eight kills already. What? Hang on a minute. If this like this, now if this went a different way. Eight hundred damage, and there's yeah. fourteen squads That's left. That's nuts. Right? So like, kind of pop it off, and then uh, we look for another team to fight. Bro, look at what I have to fast forward to. Oh. Oh, this is a rip, dude. That could have been a pop-off game, to be fair. Like, a really pop-off game. That's nuts. Man, there ain't nobody here. Oh. Oh, that's such a shame. This game could have been, like, world record-breaking. When do you get eight kills with 40 players left? That's nuts. What a rip. Here we go. Next fights. Stand the alt. Okay. Beaming with the other one. Iron sights at that distance. That's nuts. That's with a controller. He's a controller player. So that's pretty decent aim, to be honest. Aim assist isn't always that easy Way to do. Long range. Oh, I already have it. The rock comes down. Okay. Puts down the dome. He's just smart with it, you know. I feel like Gibby is like such a great legend to play. If you're just like, you want to make the most impact, you know, you're playing with a team. You got your pre-made. You got your three stack or whatever. Like, Gibby is a great choice because he can be so defensive. He can be great at reviving. But also, he's a bit of a tank, you know? He can eat some damage for sure. Oh, man. This game could have gone so well. Like, I think he gets a 20 bomb. Or even more than a 20 bomb. Despite there being almost nobody left now. Crazy, he got eight of those kills within like the first few seconds of the video. The beaming with the vault, nice dude. Vault is just a brilliant weapon, isn't it? They got nerfed, they got nerfed. The bullet travel time slowed down, so it, it doesn't like. But yeah, I don't know, Zaya. This is my favorite, uh, favorite map in the whole game. I, I actually Olympus. agree. I love Olympus, best when you map play Gibby, for pubs. This map is just so good. Ever since day one. Aside from the crashing issues and Horizon kind of being annoying. Oh! <laughs> I agree. I, so dominant on this map as Gibby. I actually have made a video about that. Olympus is my favorite map because when you hot drop, there's always like a good POI to land at, but there's also always good POIs to rotate to. And you have the tridents. And the map isn't too big like Storm Point. So you like, it's just always you can find fights. The POIs are great. Constant action. The colors on this map are beautiful. Like, it is my favorite map. Olympus is my favorite. 
And then World's Edge, just because of Fragment, to be honest. Gotta, gotta love Fragment. Uh, and then King's Canyon. I do like a bit of King's Canyon. There's some good POIs. I've had some good moments on that map. Uh, and then... Probably actually Storm Point, funnily enough. Yes, it's big and you have those quiet moments, but... Now that we play Broken Moon, like... I like... The fact that you have Tridents on Storm Point. If I'm playing pubs, at least I can go and find fights. Um, I like the POIs in Broken Moon, but just the flow of gameplay on it feels a little rough. I don't know, maybe that will change over time, but right now, that's like how I'd rank the maps. We're just chatting whilst uh, he's just mowing through people. Trying my best still, Pops. 18 kills already. Dude, this, like... Man, I made a video reacting to like a 37 kill game and I was talking about how luck plays a big part of it. This is a great example. If they managed to come across those teams, those 41 other players, like this could have been an absolutely crazy game, but just luck. You have to be extremely lucky for that to really happen. All right. Yeah, I mean, smart placement of the dome. I think, like, at this point, playing Gibby, like, 148,000 kills, it's all just clockwork to him, you know? You know what I mean? He's a pretty straightforward legend to, to like, play, but you do ha definitely have to always make sure that you play around cover, because he's a big boy. Getting caught out of the open is without your dome, uh, you're kind of screwed. Luckily, he's a beamer with the r one can never get, like, I, I can never get tired of the Arturo one, you know, like, yes, sometimes it's a bit too much of a laser beam, but it's just, it's satisfaction, pure satisfaction with this weapon. It's just a lifeline doing. <laughs> 20 bomb already? Nice. Yeah, I mean, you can see Chet, you betcha, makes a bunch of content on YouTube as well. Vibes is super high, a super cool guy. Uh, you definitely want to check him out if you like Gibby gameplay. Um, I feel like Gibby's a cool legend to play. Like, sure, it doesn't have, like, the most crazy high skill ceiling. But there's some really cool moments you can play in and out of the Hi, dome. YouTube. Might yeah. be a tuba. Hello. This is a tuba. He streams on Twitch as well. Um, yeah, like, Gibby's a cool character. The dome, the dome. Is he gonna? Oh, there's a little gap there. Okay. Where they at? Up there. Dude, I'm surprised you can do so well with the R301 long range of the controller. That's impressive. Two X as well, dude. Two X. 148,000 kills. That's just like triple, triple the number of our kills I've got on my account. And it's on a single legend. Nuts. I wonder if he really plays, like, how many kills he has on other legends. I guess maybe a little bit. Not that much. Yeah, last team. It's just a beamer, man. Sometimes you just gotta go with what works, right? After a one, holding angles, make sure you're always behind cover. Like, you're just gonna win games. You're just gonna win games and games and games, you know? Especially if you're, uh, you've got teammates to back you up. Easy. All right, there it is. Go check out Chet, you betcha, in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.